Good afternoon, folks. Your boy Brap here. Fucking just uploaded the video from the past two days, whatever. Holy shit. Just sort of got some bad news, though. I guess uh, our welder isn't showing up. Jeff, I uh, guess he's got some other job to finish up. So, um, not too sure how far we're gonna get with the trucks today, because, uh, as you guys know, muffler broke on the blazer. Dakota's making fucking weird noise. My dad's truck, fucking transmission issues. So, you know, we just got lots of shit going on here. Fucking. Gonna have to figure something out though, cause gotta go to work Monday and I sure is fucking walking. So, gonna smoke a bong, get a nice and crippled, then we'll get into her. So, fucking cheers. Cheers, everyone. Now that we're nice and baked, we can fucking crawl under this whore of a truck and uh, see what the situations are looking like here. So I got her tied up in the moment, but it ain't gonna cut it forever and she's broken up there too. So I think I'm gonna try dro drop it at the back where I tied it up for now. Try getting it back in at the front and then get coat hanger or a piece of wire small around or something then try hanging it back up at the back for now and I think Jeff might come in Monday so hopefully we can get something welded and then we'll have to figure out what's going on to Dakota because I do not like the noise the rear ends making do not like it at all well got the rope up out of there fuck she is crusty looking just look on to it just crusty. Like, just straight up crusty. Oh, just got a text from the boss. He's like, I just paid you. Fucking decent. Got some money in the bank. Fucking right. Now we gotta try taking this exhaust clamp off this old piece of exhaust. Because I think it's gonna come in handy. So hopefully these bolts aren't on here too hard. And she comes off fairly easy. Hopefully. Well, that was fucking easy. Came off a lot easier than I expected. Holy shit. Socket's full of dirt. Gonna have to bang that out. But yeah, let's go see if this clamp will do us any favors or not. Okay. Got ourselves a jack so we can jack the muffler up in the spot. And then once we get it to the spot where we like it, I got a thing of all around, so we're gonna wrap some lad around it and then try to find a nut and bolt and put that through it, tighten it up. And then that should hold the back end in position. And I got the front end into where it's supposed to be. I just gotta try putting a clamp on it. So I don't know, should be good back up on the road here in about an hour or so. Well, blaze is sounding a lot better now. So what we did is we got a tie down on there, put a clamp on it, it's not touching the exhaust so it should be good. And then uh, back here, way over right here, holy fuck, right here, got a small round going, three nights, so should be good. Crusty is all fucked though, like just look at that. This looks gross. The car is pulling out. So, uh, the plan was my dad was gonna limp this a couple blocks down the road because he had a grass to go cut. So, uh, the battery ended up being dead because we were gonna move it but couldn't start it. And the battery charger's down the boat. So, I told my dad he can just uh, limp the Dakota over there. So, he took the coat over there to do that. I'm gonna smoke a bomb, and then we're gonna pack up our bag and get ready to head out. We're gonna go to the apartment, pick Maddie up, 
go to the grocery store and get some things and then we got some mushrooms left so I'm gonna eat the rest of those and uh, just pretty much relax and uh, I don't know Blaze is in pretty rough condition I don't think it can make her up to Melbridge quite just yet like probably could but I don't want to risk it so uh, I think my mom and her man might come down tomorrow you know maybe go out grab a bite to eat have a drink or two Pretty much just say a hi and bye type of deal before they head out to Saskatchewan. So, I don't know. Hopefully shit's good though. It's supposed to fucking pour rain tomorrow. Hopefully it can stay nice a little bit. I'm gonna head out to the apartment. And go pick Maddie up. And then we're gonna head to the grocery store. Pick some things up for the shroom smoothie. I was telling my dad about the smoothie idea, and uh, thought it was pretty nifty. But he's like, see if you can get me some fucking shrooms. So I hit Buddy up, see if I uh, can get my dad some shrooms, take down to the boat, see what happens here. Fuck, Blazer's sounding a lot better though. At least it is a quick fix for now. Oh, we got lots of fucking groceries. Holy shit, did we have you? Yeah, soup bitch keeps staring. Soup bitch keeps staring. That's a bitch just following us around the grocery store. Like, holy fuck. Going to Subway. Babe's treating us tonight. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. <laughs> got lots of fucking groceries. Just went to the dollar store, got some even more shit. So, hopefully, they get us some quick subs and then we'll get back to the apartment and, uh, Start hauling the shit up and get it into the freezer and the fridge and the cupboards and all that good shit. Back at the apartment, on our way up in the elevator. <laughs> Just took Chico for a walk, stopped at the truck, grabbed the rest of our drinks. Had quite the night last night, another shroom smoothie, ended the night pretty early, was tired as fuck. Supposed to meet my mom and Stan this morning, holy fuck, it's just pouring out though, we're gonna go have breakfast. Definitely ain't fucking eating on no patios today, so we're gonna run to the fucking truck quick. I ain't getting wet today, folks. Fuck that. Well, just got to the house and they ain't here yet. So I'm gonna go inside and edit the video and post her up. So like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll get a new video going here in about 20 minutes.